So look here, we've got 3 amps flowing now. 4 amps, 5 amps almost. <laughs> Right, welcome back to another video. Thank you for checking this one out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, let's get into it. So, I get lots of questions and lots of emails about how to produce the currents and the voltages for calibration of these things. Um, and I'm lucky enough I've got equipment that I can do that with. But if you haven't, I'm going to make a couple of different videos of ways that you can. All right, so on the bench in front of me, now I have two power amplifiers, DC power supply, Arduino, and two AD9850s. Now, the AD9850 produces sine waves or square waves. All right, so for in case of an energy meter, an AC meter, you want some sine waves. So that's quite easy to do with these. So what I've done is I've, I've set it off, created two sine waves, and then shifted the phase angle. And then once I've done that, I can get a phase angle, I can get some current, and I can get some volts. Now, to get the current and the volts out of it, I have the outputs of the DDSs, so out of the AD9850s, into some power amplifiers. Now, power amplifiers uh, are audio amplifiers. Now, these ones are class D, so that makes them very small. And what it does is it turns what effectively is an audio signal into power. So with the current, I've got some of these resistors that are low enough that once you push the volts across them, it pushes current around. And if I break the circuit and go through the device that I'm using to measure the current with over here, I will measure that current. Okay, so there, there's one way of creating current. Now volts, I've got the volts come out into a... Uh, a 12 to 240 volt transformer. Now I output the output into the device I'm measuring. So that gives me the volts and the current. Now let's turn it on and see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start the um, phases. So there you go. I've got a 50 hertz frequency now and a voltage so you can see I've got 63 volts I've got no current I've got 50 Hertz all right so now I'm going to give it some phase angle and some current you can see the currents jumping around you can see my little phaser there I'm still working on getting some good code because the library for Adjusting the phase angle for the the um, for the AD ninety eights is not that good for the, the phase. It doesn't work properly. There you go. There's one that you can work with. So now you're probably thinking, how do you adjust the current? Well, different ways you could you could look at putting a digital potentiometer off the Arduino itself and get that to adjust the current or you could put uh, normal analog potentiometers like real ones but in this case there's one built onto the power amp so I can adjust that and I can move the current up and down so look here we've got three amps flowing now four amps five amps almost and I've got 1.4 1.5 amps in my supply so it's really cool that you can make these higher currents with little bits, with little current from the power supply. So that's 14 volts at 1.5 amps is what's, what it's taking to power this circuit. That's not very much. Plus you've obviously got the PC, USB 5 volt. But um, I will make a tutorial coming up soon on how you actually put this together because I'm going to plan on putting this into a box and then setting up the phase to shift correctly. And I'll probably do a digital potentiometer because it's going to work better. Uh, then having to adjust analogs, so that way I can set points. Once I work out, you know, what the different currents are, or different points, I could say, give me one amp, and I know one amp is, you know, X set on the potentiometer. So that will work. Anyway, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, stick around for the next video. Thanks for watching.